Alright, this is AMD Reviews. Recording Linux Mint 13 Maya um, Mate Edition. Now, um, everybody else I saw was doing Cinnamon, and I thought I'd go back to Mate, but their uh, matter for not doing um, Mate was because Mate, well, it's pretty much one they used to use GNOME 2. And though I agree, Mate isn't exactly... It's stable, but for some reason, I, I maybe it's just my laptop, but I've been having... Uh, it's just a little buggy and a little slower than when I used to have GNOME. It's still fast, way faster than Cinnamon. But um, let's get, go down the standard list of applications. So you have an archive manager, a uh, calculator, a character map, image editor, search for tools, take a screenshot, terminal, tomboy notes, pluma. For graphics, you got the IMA image viewer, GIMP image editor, a Libre Office Draw, Simple Scan, G Thumb, uh, Firefox, Pigeon, Thundermail, Transmission, uh, BitTorrent client and the XChat for chatting on an IRC channel. Uh, for Office, you got the LibreOffice suite. Um, sound and video, you have Banshee, Brazero, Gnome Player. You don't get the Kazam screencaster. I downloaded that to uh, uh, record the screen. You get a movie player and VLC media player. Um, configuration editor, uh, disk usage analyzer, fire browser, uh, GW package installer. I love that for devs. It's way better than uh, doing it through the software center. Um, login file viewer, new login, and system monitor. A Apaton create installation disk, a backup tool, domain blocker, firewall configuration, login window, network, printing, services, shared folders, software manager, some that package manager, which I personally like to use a lot more, uh, system information, time and day, update manager, upload manager, users of groups, Windows wireless drivers, which is really good for um, taking your drivers. Uh, that they don't have one specifically for Linux and get it for Windows and you install it through there, it's pretty helpful. Additional drivers, which I had to use with my Broadcom wireless, I had to go connect to Ethernet to get my appearance. Appearance, Bluetooth, oh, assistive technologies, desktop settings, file management, ICE-T web control panel, input method switcher, keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, language support, main menu, monitors, mouse, network connections, network proxy, open GD. GDK, Java 6 policy tool, pop-up notifications, preferred applications, screensaver, software sources, sound, startup applications, and uh, your welcome screen, and Windows. Now, this is pretty much the same uh, Mint that you've known, but they've changed it a little bit um, with default things. Before, in Linux Mint, um, they basically just had these type of wallpapers with different logos of uh, their Mint. And now they actually have a pretty good selection, um, but as I as you was talking about, there's like the logo ones, but then they have this one and storms, and they have a very nice uh, abstracty nature themes that uh, more than a desktop should have than uh, just advertisement for their wallpaper. So that's pretty not good. But going over to theming, I thought it was a little um down. Uh, a lot down actually because uh, I have tested the cinnamon um, version of this uh, Linux Mint and they had tons of themes for um, uh, cinnamon like they had lots this though they don't have any default themes they do have some uh, controls uh, themes so like uh, I have Mint Exxon uh, you can have clear looks or Aora um, but I'll go back to the default but um the w and I changed the window uh, border but they have a lot of those kinds of changes, but icons are green, and I just thought that maybe they should have some more default themes, like at least some Mint X or Mint Z dark theme, but they didn't even have that. But I guess that's fine. You can get more themes. Now here's a setting that you would find in GNOME 3, or um, if you downloaded Ubuntu Tweak for um, uh, Unity, or advanced settings for Unity. Um, the desktop settings uh, for showing computer, home, trash, network on your desktop, um, what windows and traditional, uh, how you like to have your windows, but Mac style, traditional style, right? Your interface, and your terminal things. Let's go look in the terminal, and I'm pretty sure what the um, uh, what the kernel is, but let's see. Yeah, 3.20 dash 23 generic kernel, and I ran all the system updates before doing this video, so I know which um that it's. 
up to date and their updates wouldn't update the kernel anyways by default but that'd be a surprise if it did and so that's that um i mean all in all mates pretty well but it just seems back in the past which isn't a bad thing but i feel like something new needs to come i think cinnamon is it cinnamon just needs some more time to develop so uh this so i give this out of a 10 about an 8 out of 10 on my review and uh thank you please put a thumbs up or something that if you like my video if you have any questions leave a comment thank you